altre domande? Prego. Ah, Roberto Le Frigio, protezione mentale. Mi scuso per la domanda dei miei colleghi, è proprio una domanda da fan, eh, visto che è il mio fumetto preferito, Torra. La domanda è se ha già scelto chi farà Loki e poi se si ritaglierà un personaggio nel film, se ci ha pensato un ruolo, un piccolo ruolo. E comunque grazie perché credo farà un ottimo lavoro. Thank you. Uh, the character of Loki is being played by an English actor called Tom Hiddleston. And he appears, he, appears in, he appears in Wallander, there you go. Um, and uh, in fact, he also appeared in the Chekhov play I did last year, so uh, clearly he's following me around. Maybe. Uh, he's a very, very good actor, very good actor. And uh, uh, so he's playing that. And uh, I, I don't have any plans currently to, to be in the film. Um, uh, You'll have to watch and find out, I guess. <laughs> I'll have to watch and find out. <laughs> C'è un'ultima domanda? Ah, due. Beh, facciamola fare a lei che non l'ha fatta. Okay. Sì, la mia domanda è di pura, mi scuso con i colleghi, ma di pura cronaca e attualità. Eh, ieri George Clooney era all'Aquila per un sopralluogo, per questa visita, sa che ovviamente c'è il G8 adesso all'Aquila. Mi chiedevo, lei eh, sarebbe interessata, è curioso ad andare lì a vedere? A, um, Clooney diceva che girerà un film all'Aquila, lei in qualche modo, visto il suo legame con l'Italia, ha girato film in, in Italia, ha ah, quindi un, in qualche modo un legame con questo paese. Andrà all'Aquila, pensa ad un futuro uh, film qui in Italia, ma più che altro la curiosità è sull'Aquila, chiaramente. Um, well, I haven't been, I have no, no plans this time to, but because my time is limited here before going back to work for uh, Mr. Harris in Sweden, but obviously I've been very interested to read of the, of the, uh, the challenges there and I, I was very encouraged and it seemed like a, a very positive thing that George Clooney, who I know has immensely close ties to Italy, um, should be involved in that. The idea of making another film here or, or making TV here, uh, if one had the, the possibility to do it, would be a thrill. I would love to do it. I mean, this, this country has been extremely generous to me in my work and it's a place I feel very at home in, I feel great sort of simpatico with uh, the people. Um, I, it does, uh, and I'm not just saying that because I'm here, I, I always have. I remember actually just flying in today. When I was 22 years old, I had my first holiday on my own. I'd just broken up with a girlfriend and I uh, was feeling a bit sorry for myself. And I was about to play Francis of Assisi in a play that no one saw. Um, uh, it opened and died um, in six horrible, horribly short, uh, painful weeks uh, in the southeast of, of London. But I came to uh, I came to Assisi for three days and then I came back and I spent three or four days in Rome uh, on my own. I was 22 years old with my sort of jaw open, wandering around thinking, Christ, on every street corner there's something that's thousands of years old and is magnificent. And I suppose my, one of the reasons I fell in love with Rome then and Italy, I had a fantastic time in Assisi, uh, but I fell in love with Rome because at six, seven o'clock in the evening, uh, I was watching other people, a little younger than me, I was quite young, 22. I just couldn't, it was the first time I understand how, how the difference in, in how people wore clothes. I was so impressed by Italians wearing clothes. And I was so impressed by young men of my age wearing pink cashmere brilliantly. I th they were just colours and styles and materials that you people in, in piazzas that don't exist anyway in the UK wouldn't have done. That. I don't know. It felt very nice, very cool, and I felt very at home. Uh, I still haven't worked up to wearing pink cashmere yet, but it's, uh, it's a dream of mine. If I come back and make a film in Italy, uh, that's what I shall wear. L'ultima, sì, ultimissima domanda. Ricordo un suo film molto bello, un thriller, che lei aveva fatto, ah, sì. appassionante, e come regista e come attore, anzi dovrei dire come assassino. E mi chiedevo eh, quale fosse il suo interesse, tra l'altro, nella cronaca nera. Se lei ha mai avuto un interesse nella cronaca nera proprio perché ha un risvolto molto particolare del, dell'umana natura e eh, se pensa a scrivere qualcos'altro nel thriller con De Jacobi e Emma I have got a yeah I have a uh, I do have a pretty keen interest in it and I have I do have one of my own which I, I I'm I have been working on for some time yeah which is uh, based on the idea of a, a very sort of twisty turny kind of uh, rather sort of um, uh, unpleasant crime yeah 
So it's I, I, I can concede that I have an interest in those things. So yes, it's it's there, and I hope another one will emerge in some entertaining way at some point. Thank you very much. Bene, grazie a tutti. Ringrazio Andy Harris, Kenneth Branagh, Marigo Keoe e Ben Donald e Paola Tonella di BBC Worldwide. Thank you, grazie. Grazie. Splendida musica da più diffusione.